A team from the World Pediatric Project recently paid a courtesy visit to officials within the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs. The visit provided an opportunity to discuss the collaboration between the World Pediatric Project and Sid Lucia and examine the future priorities for delivering pediatric care to children. Chief Executive Officer of the World Pediatric Project, Vafa Akavan, spoke on the services provided to St. Lucia since the commencement of the project in 2008. There's a tremendous commitment. We've been here already uh, more than 10 years. Uh, in those years, uh, particularly since uh, uh, 2008, we have uh, supported sev over 1,700 uh, children. We have done uh, over 3,000 assessments of those children and we've been able to provide uh, 256 surgeries for those uh, children in St. Lucia. So we have a history of commitment to St. Lucia and uh, we will continue that commitment into the future. Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, the Honorable Moses Jabatis, says he is pleased with the work being undertaken by the World Pediatric Project to ensure surgical and diagnostic care is provided to children in need of this service. This is a very valuable service for the people of St. Lucia. Um, a number of these surgeries, we, we, we cannot yet do them in St. Lucia. And so when we get that kind of assistance, it is very, um, we are very thankful as a government, we are very thankful as a people, and we will continue to work with them to ensure that all the services, all the procedures, everything we have to do in St. Lucia, we do well enough so that the children get assistance as quickly as they, as they need them. The World Pediatric Project has provided the services of spine surgery, urology, orthopedic surgery, general surgery, neurosurgery, and ENT to name a few. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Fennel Neptune.